Hello and welcome to Broken Entertainment. So today we're going to talk about the PlayStation sales crash in Japan. And one of the things I've heard kind of floated around in relation to this is, well, oh, it's just temporary because there's not a lot of stock right now, so there's orders are, are not being made and so on and so forth. And you, you do see that with Xbox is having the same problem. But we'll get into that a little more because it's not just that. And this trend is not just this year. So let's go ahead and get into the article here on Bounding Into Comics. Uh, Sony sells less than 1 million PlayStation units in Japan. It's worst sales year since 1994. Sony's woes in the Japanese market continue as sales data has revealed the company sold less than 1 million PlayStation units in Japan across all of 2020, marking the worst sales numbers since the console line launched in 1994. And remember, 2020, this is the year that all these numbers should be skyrocketing. If you look at other industries that are uh, escapes for people, from day-to-day -day life, they've gone way up, aside from, of course, movie theaters, since they've been shut down. But if you look at uh, the marine industry for boating, that has skyrocketed. If you look at um, streaming, that has skyrocketed, especially for Netflix. If you look at uh, game sales in general, I believe is up. If you look at all these other places... These numbers are up. The numbers for PlayStation should be through the roof. And they're, they've collapsed. Uh, you know, I don't know what they are in the United States. But in Japan, this is their home country. And their competition, Nintendo, is doing fine. Uh, Xbox has sold more units in Japan than it has in a long time. So, it says, according to a chart recently compiled of recently compiled sales data provided by Japanese video game magazine uh, Famitsu, combined sales of both PlayStation 4 and 5, so you can't really tell me it's purely because of the PlayStation 5 inventory problem, if it's also PlayStation 4, amounted to only an approximate... 800,000 units. A sharp decline from 1.2 million sold just last year, 2019. Uh, not only does this decline in annual sales denote the first time PlayStation has failed to sell over 1 million units since its original launch in 1994, but it also represents console family's fourth consecutive year of decline. And they're not small declines. They have this chart here. I brought it up over here so I could zoom in a bit and show it a little bit better. But, you know, these numbers speak for themselves. Let's look at the first year, really, of decline. 2012. It declined pretty sharply, and then it just keeps going. And these different colors are the different PlayStation uh, consoles combined. But, you know, look at the numbers for 2020. That's pathetic. Look at all these other years. Go look at 1994. That's understandable. It's when they're first introduced. But 2020, that's that's really pathetic. That's a, this is not a decline. This is a collapse. This is a complete collapse of PlayStation sales in Japan. Uh, while some of 2020's abysmal sales numbers can be attributed to both the then-upcoming release of PlayStation 5, which would have dissuaded players from buying the last-generation PlayStation 4, that's true, and PlayStation 5 stock issues similar to those seen across all of Sony's markets, such limited time events would not account for four straight years of decline. No, they don't. And, you know, these these declines are sharp. They're not gradual. It's It's a huge drop starting in 2012. Uh, this losing trend lends credence to reports that Sony has turned their attention away from Japan in order to focus on Western markets, which subsequently soured Japanese customers with the PlayStation brand. Yeah, 
Americans love video games. They love console games. Um, and who's PlayStation's big opponent? Microsoft. Microsoft's home is the United States. So Sony's thinking, okay, well, we've got Japan. They're a captive audience, so we're going we're gonna to bite into Microsoft's sales in the United States and try to undermine them there. Not at all realizing that the complete, complete reverse could happen. And the Japanese don't take kindly to Japanese companies not paying attention to Japan. And, you know, PlayStation has moved its headquarters from Japan to the United States. And if you don't think the Japanese people have noticed that, you're wrong. They keep track of this a lot and it's very important it is a matter of japanese pride to them that japanese companies stay in japan and focus efforts in japan they don't have to focus all their efforts in japan but they can't ignore japan Unfortunately for Japanese players, every passing day seems to bring more evidence suggesting Sony has truly chosen to focus on the West, with the company most recently announcing they would be halting production of all but one model of PlayStation 4, the 500GB PlayStation 4 Slim, in Japan. You know, PlayStation has lost track of what got it started. And, and this doesn't really go into it in this article, but one of the things they're doing in their effort to become an American Western company, in essence, is they're spending a great deal of attention on censorship and the idea, the ideological, agenda-driven storytelling that has has taken control of much of Western entertainment, and. The Japanese don't like that. The Japanese reject that completely. You know, look at manga. Manga is totally the opposite of that kind of storytelling. And it's ginormously popular. You know, one, one successful manga book, Demon Slayer, outsold the entire Western comic book industry by giant amounts. It's not even close. And here we are with PlayStation saying, well, we've got Japan. We're going to go over and then we're going to get the United States. But forgetting what they owe to Japan. Without Japan, PlayStation doesn't exist. You know, PlayStation has been hugely successful in the United States. But it owes its origin and its biggest player base japan and it's ignored them and japan japanese market is gonna say okay well if you're not gonna pay any attention to us we've got nintendo and then on the back end of that you've got microsoft coming into japan saying hey we've got this new console too and we've got a version of it that's smaller and more affordable, and we've got this payment plan. If you don't want to pay the five, six hundred dollars up front, you can buy an Xbox One X, or sorry, an Xbox Series X. You can buy one for what is it, thirty-four dollars a month, including a subscription service. You know, so you've got Microsoft pushing in on Japan while J while PlayStation is abandoning it in an effort to completely capture the U.S. market. Uh, this is a uh, huge, huge disaster for PlayStation, and the question is whether or not they're going to recognize that. I don't know. You know. Certainly, they've had four years of sales figures to figure out this might be pissing off their customer base. 
But uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you next time.